Broadcasting another one versus one for you guys. This is gonna be a match off of the Southeast Asian servers actually Introducing at the bottom right position. This is Sen. Sen has been making a name for himself since the beta He's been so well known such a strong presence in tournaments on the ladder um, And especially as a foreigner I would venture to say that he's you know if he's not the best foreigner then he's certainly in contention for that title um, a very strong player from Taiwan, um, competed in recent GSLs, really a, a really great Zerg player. So I'm looking forward to seeing his play here on Jungle Basin. So Sen here, the blue Zerg, and up at the top left, we have Ors Rush. Um, Ors Rush, I really don't have any information on, never seen his games, never heard of him. But I did get this uh, sort of small map pack, uh, replay pack. Uh, between these two players. I've watched a couple of their games already and I picked this one on Jungle Basin um, in large part because I thought Sen deserves to have a handicap. Zergs are known to have a bit of a harder time on this map and Sen is just so so good. So uh, yeah this should turn out to be a competitive game. I hope it's a, I hope it's a good one for you guys. Jungle Basin of course uh, one of the new maps added to the map pool recently along with Shakura's Plateau and sort of has uh, some unique features as we actually have a very early scout here from Or's Rush. We can see on Or's cam, he sees the timing of the spawning pool. I'm surprised that Sen is actually getting a spawning pool and uh, not a 14 or 15 hatch just because this uh, this backdoor expansion is, is quite easy to defend and I mean most Zerg players uh, favor that sort of macro style but that's fine. I mean uh, spawning pool is about a uh, 66% complete. We got the Evo Chamber going down at this point as well. Evo Chamber. How do I call that an Evo Chamber? I guess they both begin with E. Of course, I'm talking about the Extractor. Back at the Protoss base, Ors Rush is putting up a, a forge at the top of the ramp, and he's going to fast expand 400 minerals, puts down the Nexus, and he's probably going to put down a gateway here as well, along with a cannon. And then, as soon as you have your first Zealot out, it's just about impossible for the uh, for the Zerg player to break so it looks like Sen is going to be you know the ball's sort of in Sen's court right now um, you know with regards to what he's gonna choose to do the Protoss player you know he's gonna have two bases up and running very quickly and Sen needs to respond to that he needs to either pick up another base of his own and he is doing that at 21 supply putting down a, a hatchery of his own so it's not like uh, Sen's going to go for an early timing window pressure build to try to punish Ors Rush for uh, going for this early Nexus. Finally getting some gas. Um, obviously with a Forge Fast Expand, uh, this is very a mineral heavy opening, so that's why we're seeing such a late assimilator. This pro continuing to getting rushed down. Is it going to regenerate any shields before the Zergling gets his final shot? In? No. Probe goes down. Back at Sen, Sen's base, we do have speed on the way for Zerglings, and there are still two drones mining gas. Really interesting. Um, yeah, quite intrigued by Sen's build order in this situation. Back at the uh, the Protoss base, actually I want to see is this pro, what other scouting information is he going to get? Uh, nothing really that he didn't already know, to be honest. Um, Sen here hasn't really put down any telltale tech structures just yet. We do have a second queen though. That's always good to get that second queen um, as quick as possible. Gonna be Walton one down to the natural. This as probe is gonna get taken out. Um, and like I mentioned before, you see the rally point for the Zealot. He's gonna hold position. Uh, or he's going to move out. All right. I guess just based upon what the probe scouted, um, it, it seems that Ors Rush is uh, comfortable enough to move out and uh, Try to regain a little bit of map control. Both Cell Nogas uh, possessed by Sen at this point. And that's certainly one thing that I uh, have to applaud Sen for is his map control. In every match that I've watched recently, he just, you know, with the Cell Nogas, Overlords, uh, Speedlings, and another hatchery going up, the former gold base. When Jungle Basin first launched, these were actually gold minerals. But this is a bit of a ballsy expansion just because, uh, I mean, Often I see Zerg players, players favoring, you know, the expansions on the side. They're a little bit easier to defend than this middle base. But Sen is seeming pretty confident with his build. And um, actually looking at Sen's vision, he has scouted everything. Um, well, it's not fair to say everything, especially not the Stargate. 
Stargate a little bit of a... Uh, might catch Sen off guard just a little bit. Probably going to pump uh, two Void Rays out of it. I often see uh, in, in PVZs uh, with a Stargate, you get two Void Rays and then you get one Phoenix. So I'm wondering if that's actually what um, Ors Rush is going to go for. He's getting lots of gas now, of course, four geysers compared to just one for Sen. He is getting a Roach Warren, and when you have early Roaches, or when you're just producing Roaches in general, you don't need a lot of gas at all, which is why he's still sitting on just one geyser uh, back at the Protoss base. He's actually opening up with a Phoenix. Very nice. Phoenix, I've certainly seen them use effectively on Jungle Basin. Um, very good at establishing map control. A little bit more micro-intensive. You need some more APM if you're going to use Phoenix quite well. But uh, I have confidence in Ors Rush here. We'll see what he's going to do with that. We also have a robotics facility on the way. And from the Forge, we're getting ground upgrades level 1. So with this Phoenix out, um, going to be spotted by um, Sen. So at this point, I mean, the tech certainly has been revealed. This Phoenix is going to eat just a few spines from the Queen. Uh, but now, going to effectively get all that scouting information, get some shots off on the Overlords while trying to avoid the Queens. Avoid Ray on the well, on the way as well. And uh, are we going to see... I'll keep an eye on the, the kill count for this Phoenix. He should probably get at least one or two Overlords. Um, interesting that we have a Void Ray to follow up. Very nice. I guess uh, Oros Rush just wanted that early Phoenix because it's so fast. Phoenix, of course, being the fastest air unit. Uh, really get all that scouting intel. Uh, scout out this second, this um, middle expansion with three queens. Very interesting. Three queens, nine roaches, along with um, about 18 speedlings uh, have arrived as well. On the units tab, actually, still one Phoenix, one Void Ray. Uh, no more air units on the way for Ors Rush. The uh, upgrade for weapons is uh, on the way. Getting lots of sentries, though. It actually sort of appears to me that that Ors Rush is getting into a bit of a defensive posture here. I was thinking with this plus one weapons, you know, maybe he wanted to hit some kind of timing attack, but I mean, with the Stargate as well, and uh, it, it doesn't look like that's what he's going to do. He's going to be getting Colossi out, so Ors Rush is going to try to hit um, a timing window that's a little bit further down the road. Um, I just want to keep an eye as well on the Zerg base. Very uh, late lair. Uh, the lair's only going to be popping right now at about the 11 minute mark. We're getting Missile Attack Level 1. Uh, for the Zerg player as well. Finally mining off of 4 gas. So what kind of tech structure is he going to go with? Lots of lair upgrades along with a Hydralis Den. We're getting Roach Speed, Overlord Speed, uh, Burrow along with Hydra with a Hydra Den. Now this is actually really interesting. We have a Hydra Den on the way. The Hydras are designed to deal with Stargate units, but we have Ors Rush here pumping out Colossi along with a Thermal Lance upgrade as well. And those Colossi are just going to rip apart the Hydralisk, so uh, Void Ray is really not good at all against Speedlings, really just simply ineffective. Um, how many gateways are we going to have? We've got four down here, we've got a couple more for a total of uh, seven gateways, two robotics facilities, um, and of course that Thermal Lance upgrade is now just about complete. This Void Ray going to be keeping an eye on that creep spread. We have an Observer out as well. Uh, Phoenix over here, going to keep an eye on uh, the the base of the left-hand side of the map to see if the Zerg wants to expand there anytime soon. This Void Ray barely escaping. you got to be careful. Uh, Queen's obviously very slow off creep, but on creep they can they can still do, do work, especially with long-range uh, anti-air spines. Now, lots of upgrades uh, on the way in the Zerg base still. Um, Overlords can now move faster. Roaches have their speed upgrade as well. We're going to see if any burrow tactics are used as well. Of course, that upgrade's complete. And um, I'm wondering if... How many... Let's take a look at the units tab, actually. Uh, nine roaches. No hydras out just yet. 60 speedlings. we got a spire on the way. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy, but very scary ball here. Back to the units tab. We got uh, three Colossi, ten Stalkers, a Phoenix, a Void Ray, and five Sentries. And those Sentries can be very effective with Force Fields uh, on at this portion of the map because these are two very narrow hallways. And um, 
We're just going to keep an eye out and uh, see how this goes for Ors Rush. Sen needs to get a good flank off. Of course, very important for Zerg armies to have that surface area to get their shots in. You don't want to have units trapped in the back. you got to keep uh, in mind that the Protoss is going to be using the force fields and abusing the long range of the Colossi. What kind of units do we have now for the Zerg player? 13 Hydras. Um, no more units on the production tab, but we do have Tunneling Claws. A Changeling is uh, not going to be detected. This Changeling here for Sen, that's kind of annoying not to spot that. But it looks like Sen's going to use that intel, try to get a surround with the Speedlings, but they're forced away. There are a lot of Zealots in the in the mix here as well. And it looks like Ors Rush is looking to take this base, not being too overly aggressive. Sen has a, a about 20 supply advantage at this stage. Um, worker count very even, 70 and 71, 75 and 71 rather. Uh, back at the production tab, we almost have these tunneling claws complete, but do we have any observers overhead? Uh, there's just one observer on the map. I don't see it here. Sometimes they're not simple to see, but anyway, a couple spines going down, lots of force fields preventing the Zerg units from getting in a good position. Lots of Hydras and especially Roaches over here not getting the shots off that they need. These Colossi are doing a lot of damage and they are not, you know, in check at all. We actually have Hallucinated Void Rays. A little late to spot that, but lots of Hallucinated Void Rays. Four of them, I believe. So that is definitely annoying. Corruptors out. Nine Corruptors. Gonna make quick work of the Colossi, I'm sure, but I mean, these Colossi have already done a lot of 18 kills on that Master Colossi. Seven kills on that damaged one. I didn't check the first Colossi that went down. Now, with lots of spines in position, it's gonna be very important for Sen to hold this middle ground expansion. Um, these Roaches now getting close enough to do damage. Uh, Stalkers flanking in from the left here. Four spines still, I mean, they're getting pretty decent damage on the Stalkers, but uh, with this Colossus as, as backup and this many Stalkers on the ground, these Stalkers are 1-1, and for the Zerg, uh, they were, the Roaches and Hydralisks were actually 1-1 as well. Anyway, I, I really did enjoy this game. I thought it was pretty impressive, the play of uh, Ors Rush. Sort of that one reactionary play that could have proved costly was as soon as that Lair Tech hit, we saw lots, uh, we saw the Hydralis Den, and, and then of course the upgrades for the Hydras as well, but the Hydralis Den was really based on the Stargate play that Ors Rush was going for, and he really didn't use the Stargate for a lot, I mean, for most of the ma match, at least he only had one Void Ray, one uh, Phoenix, so to do a hard switch into Colossi to just burn down the Hydralisks, it forced Sen to do a really sort of hack transition in, in into Spire Tech and the Corruptors as like a last-ditch effort, last minute.